Hey guys, welcome back. I know it's been a while. This is, I'm getting this out a lot later than I had hoped for, but I've been really, really busy and I will continue to be busy until the end of this month. Um, but I will be trying to get videos out at least once a week as best as I can, plus the Zodiacs. I am, however, available for personal readings. The turnaround time is still the same, um, between 10 and 14 days. So yeah, do be aware of that. And also I am still offering the cord cutting sessions for $120, which also includes um, an earthbound spirit release segment. Or if you don't have any earthbound spirits attached to your aura, <clears throat> we can do a, um, an aura clearing, okay, instead of that. And I am also offering the aura clearings on their own. If anybody's interested in those, I'm currently doing those for $50, okay? And both of these sessions, they do um, include a video, all right? The cord cutting videos are anywhere between 30 to 45 minutes. The aura clearings will be a little bit shorter, okay? So you do get a lot of feedback. Um, and I've had some people ask me, so let me just clear this up. I'm not suggesting that you cut the cord, the negative cord of attachment with your um, divine masculine. This is just something you can do with other relationships in your life to just help with your healing on your path and on your journey. Okay, so it can just help you overall. So yeah, that I think that's it. So yeah, today's reading will be for divine soulmate connections, twin flames, um, where there is a karmic situation or karmic partner involved, okay, it could be just a third party. Um, I will be doing the reading as if that is on the masculine side, but of course it could be that it is the feminine who is also involved in a karmic situation. Just take the messages as they resonate for you, okay? We all have masculine and feminine energies, so what comes through for the masculines and their karmic situation could also apply to you. If you want something more specific, for your situation, you can always get a personal reading. All right, so I think that is it. We are going to be looking at the masculine's energy towards their karmic partner or situation, their energy towards their feminine, and then we'll take a quick look at the feminine's energy as well as what might be coming up in the near future. Okay. So let's see, let's get into it for the masculines. What is going on with the masculines currently, please? All right, we have resilience and I do feel like I need to get one more. We also have wisdom, okay. Because that's kind of what I was getting with this resilience. This is the masculines building up strength, um, becoming more resilient when it comes to having to go through um, tough times, tough decisions, pain, whatever it is. This does not mean that they are getting used to the negatives in their situation and staying, okay? That's not what this card is about at all, actually. Um, although it can seem that way. All right, for some of them. And I do feel like that is something that they have already been through where it's like their tolerance for unhappiness increased, right? It's like they built up this tolerance for the situation, getting used to it. But this is all about them getting stronger and being able to deal with the difficulties that they were avoiding before. And that's why we have this wisdom card, okay? Because through through this, throughout this journey, they're gaining wisdom, they're gaining more knowledge, they're understanding more at a deeper level about their own their own self as well as their situation. So let's just get um, a couple more and then we'll get into the tarot to get more specific. All right, we have signs together with the answer is yes. And then we have purge and barrier, okay? So they're getting signs. I, I feel like the universe is bombarding the masculines with signs currently um, for w what it is that resonates with them, right? What it is that they want. The answer is yes. Um, and what is that? that? That's all about purging 
in order to rid themselves of that barrier. And I feel like it's like that resilience card, right? It's reminding me of the Ten of Wands, like carrying a burden on their back, right? That's that's part of their barrier is just carrying this burden or being having been resilient to change, whereas now they're being resilient in a whole new way, right? So they're purging that barrier, getting rid of it. At least that's what the signs are telling them to do. And they're all different, so some of them are going to be more receptive to these signs and messages. Others are a little bit more resistant. But the signs are definitely there, and they are purging either way. Okay, so let's get into the tarot. Let's see the masculine's energy towards their karmic situation. Let's just see overall what is going on. All right, we have the Page of Wands together with the King of Pentacles, both in reverse, the Hermit in reverse, and then the Eight of Wands upright. Ooh, okay. Uh, interesting. There's definitely distancing. There's definitely distancing themselves from this situation, from this connection, from this person. There's a complete loss of interest here. Um, also not wanting to have this role of being in a commitment to this particular person or situation. And I feel like they're closing off to themselves like in a very, very powerful way here with the hermit being in reverse, just really self-isolating. It's not in the most positive way. However, I do like that we have the Eight of Wands following that because I feel like this is like a progression where they're moving towards either taking action or just really communicating. So it, I'm even getting that um there's extremes here like they go from being completely isolated and quiet keeping to themselves like just not interacting at all um in this situation they go from that to like completely blowing up and then just t either taking action or um speaking a lot and it could be that they go back and forth. It's like they're either at one extreme or the other. I feel like there's just, there's, um, at the moment, there's not that middle ground. They're either keeping to themselves or they're just like <laughs> going full force. So let's see what else. What's going on in their headspace? All right, the star in reverse, the nine of wands in reverse, the chariot in reverse, and then the two of swords upright. Okay, so this group of masculines um, in their heads, they know that there's no hope here, right? And I feel like this has this just keeps coming out. It's like very consistent, the star in reverse. There's, there's no hope. They know that there's no saving this. And not only that, they know that this connection that they are in, it's not what they want. Um, they've given up completely. And like I said before, it's like a complete lack of motivation. Um, I, I feel like it's like a complete withdrawal um, from this. Even with the chariot in reverse, I feel like at the moment they're just kind of letting, letting the tide guide them and they're just going by what they feel is the way that this is coming in. And so what they're doing is just kind of going through everything allowing their emotions to guide them. But what they need is to actually, at some point, put in a little bit more effort when it comes to, okay, doing what they want. It's almost like, yeah, you know what? If I don't feel like interacting, I'm not going to interact. If I feel like going off on them, I'm gonna go off on them. If I don't feel like going to this social event with them, I'm not gonna go. Um, I don't feel like, you know, participating in a pleasant conversation. I'm not. It's kind of like that. Um, but with the Two of Swords here, see, that's, that's why I'm saying, like, there's still this, like, not really doing anything about it. They're, they've just, like, succumbed to 
how they feel and they're allowing that to come through in the way that they communicate or in the way that they behave with this person or within this situation. It's like they they also know that there is no there is no resolving it here. And I do feel like there's something here that they're also not seeing eye to eye with. Um, with this person, it's like there's just this big incongruency or just like a big contrast between the two of them, feeling like they're just not a match. And yeah, it's like they can't hide that. They can't hide that anymore. Um, but they're not really taking control over the situation. That's why the chariot is in reverse. All right, so let's see what is going on with that emotion. You know, I feel like this pretty much covers it, but let's see. Anything else wants to come through? All right, we, got, we just got one. It's the Queen of Pentacles in reverse, which is interesting because we have also the King of Pentacles in reverse. So yeah, it, this is obviously, you know, the relationship or situation that is in their material world and it it's like it's just that and they're both in reverse um, this is the if this is a person right that they're dealing with they're viewing them as just not being a match pretty much everything I've been saying not only that they're feeling like this um, other person might not be taking care of them in the way that they would want or is just not fulfilling to their needs basically it's just yeah, I feel like, yeah, that I'm going to leave it at that for now. Um, let's see. Let's clarify a couple of these, actually. Let's see that page of wands with the king of pentacles. All right, and we have the lovers in reverse. I mean, it can't get any more clear. I know it's general because this is a general reading, um, but basically, yeah, feeling like, you know, I mean, this this is just the general energy here. No motivation because there is no, there is no love. There's no romantic love. There might be love on, you know, on a different level, but it's not romantic love. All right. But again, it's also them not making this decision to actually take control and do something about it. Let's see that, I was going to say hermit, and we have the Ten of Cups. Yeah, so this is why they're isolating because I feel like they're seeing the contrast here. They're seeing the contrast between their situation right their karmic situation and what it is that they would want what it is that would fulfill them right their divine feminine and so because of that they're keeping to themselves isolating pulling away they just it's like what i'm getting is they're just not in the mood not in the mood for anything let's see the eight of wands All right, the King of Pentacles in reverse again. Wow, okay, so it's like it's movement towards um, really reinforcing or solidifying the fact that they're feeling like the freaking King of Pentacles in reverse. That's the communication. So when they are speaking to this person or you know, take it however it resonates if it's a situation, what the movement that they're taking or the um, conversations that they're having are revolving around the fact that they are not wanting to be in this role anymore in one way or another, right? In some shape or form, it's going to be different for each of them. Some of them might be more direct and clear about this. For others, it might just be an expression of this. Um, but in a more indirect way, but either way it is, it's like a blowing up kind of an energy though. So it could manifest um, with anger or frustration or just boredom or just a lack of putting in effort or, you know, whatever. Okay, so let's see the second row. Let's see, what do we want to see here? Um, I, let's see that chariot in reverse. And then also that Two of Swords. 
All right, and we have the Nine of Cups and the, what's that? The Knight of Cups. No, sorry, that's the Page of Cups in reverse. Okay, so Nine of Cups and Page of Cups in reverse. Clarifying the Chariot. Again, I feel like it's just a confirmation of what I've been saying. What they're doing is following their emotions. They're following like, what is it that's going to give me the most pleasure right now? Is it attending this social event? Is it watching a movie with this person? Is it, you know, um, fill in the blank? If not, and I'm getting that it's not, <laughs> um, you know, then they just don't do it. And that's why we have the page of cups in reverse. Like the feelings are not there. The emotions are not there. They are not doing something that just does not resonate with them. They are avoiding that as much as possible. Let's see that two of swords. The ten of wands. So this is what needs to be released. This is what I was saying before with the two of swords. It's like they need to do something. Well, that something is to actually release that burden that they've been carrying, right? The, the resistance. Get rid of that tolerance that has been building up because it has built up. There is tolerance. I'm not going to lie. But I do what I was saying before is that I'm seeing that being being released as they get stronger to deal with it, to fight off that tolerance. You know, it's kind of like the alcoholic, right? They build up tolerance um, the more that they drink and the more that time passes and they just get, you know, used to whatever negative effects also um, occur because of that. But then it's like once they get that strength, once they get that wisdom, that is the resilience that they need to release that burden, the burden of stagnation. So, okay, let's move on to the masculine's energy towards their feminine currently. I'm not getting that they're stagnant. That's not what I'm getting here. It's like, this is, I feel like for this group, this stage that they are in with just going with the flow of what they feel, it's like a precursor for then actually, you know, taking the next step, which would be to actually do something about it to get themselves out of that situation. So at least they're not just um, pretending like everything is okay. They're done doing that. There is no pretending everything is okay and just trying to be happy here. No, they're, they're doing what they feel. But still in the situation though. <laughs> okay, so let's see. Masculine's energy towards the feminine, please. Right, the eight of cups oh, the second one was the page of wands upright sorry okay the eight of cups is in reverse the page of wands and then the world in reverse yeah there are okay so overall no matter what is going on in your situation um if you feel like this reading is resonating with you the masculine is not walking away from you okay the masculine is not walking away from you with this eight of cups if anything i feel like the masculine is feeling like a turning around energy like coming back to you if they had walked away um even if it's just energetically right because then with the page of wands it's like that that motivation is there it's um <clears throat> the contrast with what they had here for their karmic partner which was the page of wands in reverse now they're getting the same card but upright for their for their divine feminine so losing that motivation for the karmic partner but gaining it wanting to move in your direction, knowing that this is not done. No matter, you know, if there was a breakup or if there's, um, you know, you've been in separation, whatever the case, you know, they know it's not done. The cycle is not closed and it won't be. It won't be until, you know, <clears throat> well, <laughs> whatever is meant to happen for you in your situation, but definitely it's not meant to end like this. Okay, so let's see what is going on in their headspace for their feminines. Okay. 
Okay, five of wands in reverse, the six of wands, and the two of wands also in reverse. Hmm, all right. So I'm getting that there may have been some tension between the two of you, um, especially if you've been in contact, okay? I'm getting that for some of you, you are in contact or you've been in some contact, or this could be referring to, you know, just the tension that was there at some point in the past. And it's like, I feel like it's still there, like the masculine is still feeling some kind of some, something, um, it could even be recent for some of you, but there's something here that is creating some tension or some feelings of um, either tension or competitiveness. And it's like they want to come out of that with the Six of Wands. It's almost like they want to win something. I mean, two of Wands in reverse. Okay, so it feels like Whatever it is that the masculine is going through concerning their karmic situation, it's almost like they're taking it out also on your fe on their feminine. Like it's somehow leaking into their energy towards you, which is normal, right? I mean, it's kind of like the classic example of, you know, um, the someone who, you know, has a lot of tension and conflict at work and then they go home and they take it out on their spouse, right? It, it's kind of like that. Um, and if you're not in contact, it doesn't, it doesn't really matter. It's on an energetic level, you know, almost like getting frustrated with, you know, whatever it is that may have happened between the two of you, even if it's, it doesn't matter whose fault it is, like, it's just kind of playing out in that way for them. And they don't want it to. It's almost like they're aware of this. Well, not almost. No, they are aware of this. They are aware of this. They are aware that, you know, whatever these negative um, thoughts are that they're having or these whatever emotions are coming up, um, tension, it's like they know that it's an effect of their situation and that it is directly related to their own choices. And that's one of the reasons why they want to kind of correct that, right? Um, what's the word? Kind of like, I don't know, the word's not coming to me. <laughs> but, or like they want to overcome that basically. Um, but it's hard, they don't know how. And I actually get that, you know, that what, I mean, they're going to have to take action in order for that to resolve. Like they need to shift their own situation, their environment, improve their own um, energetic space in order for them to come to that place where they can function more positively even towards their feminine. It's just a bad mood overall is what it is. It's just a bad mood overall. Okay. So let's see what's going on emotionally. Eight of Pentacles, the Chariot Upright, and the Four of Cups. I'm telling you, they're in a really bad mood. <laughs> um, it, it also interesting that we have another like mirroring card, but in the opposite, right? We had the Chariot in reverse um, for their energy towards their karmic partner. Now we have the Chariot Upright um, for their feminine. So it's like they're trying. This is what I was saying before, that they want to win. They want to overcome this because they, they are aware of how their mood is affecting them. And it's like they're taking it out on their feminine, whether it is directly, okay, if you are in communication or whether it is more energetically, okay, if you are in separation and not communicating. So yeah, I feel like emotionally there's a lot that's going on here with the Eight of Pentacles. They're really focused right now on these emotions and on the fact that, you know, they do want to move towards you. But here's the thing, Four of Cups, bad mood. Um, they don't really know where they're going. It feels like everything is just out of control. 
even though that desire is there, to come up with a plan to figure out how to move towards you. But it's their bad mood and their negativity at the moment that is holding them back. I feel like there's not much to clarify, to be honest, but let's just see, especially that second row. Let's just see, second row overall. All right, we have the High Priestess in reverse and Strength upright. Okay, so yeah, they're, I feel like they're trying to gain insight. They're trying, all right, because a lot of this is very difficult for them to, to process. Um, again, this is in their mind space, right? So they are aware of it. They are aware of the fact that they're not following their intuition. They are aware of the fact that they are not in alignment and that whatever these negative emotions thoughts that are playing out I feel like a lot of it could be like that they're either feeling competitive or they're feeling like um, especially if you are open to other connections or if it could be anything it might even be something different but a sense of tension or competitiveness almost like they wish they because they wish they could have you and they can't so it's like <laughs> this like um very primitive emotion that can come up where it's like, yeah, I resent you for that because I can't have you, but I know I can't. the only reason why is because of my own choices. So it, it can get really, really complicated, but that's basically the gist of it. But again, see, strength is here. That's actually giving them the strength, right, to move towards that Ten of Wands, to release that burden. And they know that that's what, what they need. Uh, let's see that Four of Cups in the bottom row. Three of Pentacles in reverse. It's like there's also a sense of disappointment um, that they're feeling here. Disappointed either because Again, for some feminines, right, you might be involved with somebody else or just open um, to other connections here and they're not happy about that. Like that's something they don't want, which would also explain that five of wands. Okay, for that situation, it doesn't have to be, okay? Um, for others, this is just them having that sense of disappointment for not having interaction with you in the way that they would want. And it could be that the feminine set boundaries for some of you, right? And so they're not getting what, they're, what they want. They can't have their cake and eat it too. And for others of you, it's just, you know, um, feeling disappointed in, in having lost the friendship. Or feeling like they're losing the friendship. Okay. So before we move on to what this is all moving towards, let's just get a few cards for the feminines. I won't get too much because we do look um, more deeply into the feminines energies um, in the other readings that I do every other week, just the DMDF readings. So, which by the way, I hope to get that one out on Sunday. Since I didn't get this video out until today, I should still stick to the schedule. I will try and get that one out on Sunday. All right, let's see for the feminines in this situation. Ooh, we have surrender. Yeah, I feel like a lot of the feminines, this is actually, you know, where you're at, surrendering. And for others of you, I feel like you have completely surrendered. Meaning, what does that even mean, right? Um, you just accepted the situation for what it is. Like you're not putting in any more effort in trying to convince the masculine of anything. You're not trying. You're not, not maybe, I mean, there could still be some hope, but you're not like actively hoping and wishing and, you know, um, you've just surrendered. Like it is what it is. 
whatever's going to happen is going to happen, you know, allowing the universe to just take care of things, focusing on you, learning your lessons and actually integrating those lessons. You're, you've just surrendered. Um, for others of you, if you feel like you're not really there, take this as guidance. Okay. And either way, what I am getting, even if you're not there, you are moving towards that. And that's actually very, very positive moving in the direction of surrendering because that is when that is how you know that you are healing and or that you have healed you know what you are meant to at least at this point in time when you surrender because when you surrender it means you're not attached you're not obsessed you can find happiness even within your own self and acceptance and that is one of the big lessons here Let's see what else. Okay. Free will, action, and contemplation. Yeah, so this is what you're surrendering to, the fact that everybody has free will and everybody's choices, you know? And if, for some of you, you might feel like, you know what? Um, masculine has made his or her choice that's fine i surrender you know to whatever that is and possibly even surrendering to you know your own free will like you don't have to be stuck in this right like because sometimes it's easy to get um attached to a label and then feel like you know well, i'm trapped in this yeah okay you know maybe the connection is what it is but it doesn't mean you you are doomed so I feel like that is something that you are coming to terms with and because of that, you're taking action. You're taking action, you're moving in a different direction, doing other things. Again, if this, if you feel like you're not there, you know, just take this as, as guidance. And we also have contemplation. So it's like, yeah, you know, this might still be on your mind, obviously, you know, if you're watching this video, it's somewhere there, it's somewhere there. But I feel like you're, you're, be, you're contemplating like in a different way, you're beginning to see things in a different way, almost like seeing it from above the clouds. So that's very, very positive for the feminines. Okay, so let's see what might be coming up in the next week or two. Just have the Knight of Swords pop out. So this is for the masculine's energy towards the karmic situation. So let's get a couple more. All right, we have the Knight of Swords, the World in Reverse, and the King of Wands. Okay, so I feel like they're moving more and more towards speaking their truth, towards taking action. I feel like that Eight of Wands is going to be amplified. Um, maybe not in like the most like mature type of a way, but at least it's some expression, right? Um, that is authentic, genuine, based on truth. The cycle here, the chapter is not complete with the world being in reverse, but we have the King of Wands following that. So I feel like this is actually what they are going to be speaking about. And I do feel like for a lot of them, this is actual conversation, um, not just energetic behavior. Okay, this is actually speaking um, about the fact that this, you know, cycle is not complete when it actually, you know, they feel like it should be or that it should be moving in that direction um king of wands at the end here so definitely overcoming the challenges especially concerning learning their lessons and about closing out this cycle so i feel like they're moving from a more like immature type of an energy like the way that they're behaving now in the current energy they're moving more towards this um mature type of okay, you know what, let's <laughs> be mature and talk about this rationally, right? Let's figure this out. Um, they might not specifically be saying that, but this is the energy that they are entering, becoming more mature about it rather than just being um, impulsive and, you know, blowing up and just, you know, expressing what they feel in like crazy ways. Okay, so definitely coming into a lot more balance here. 
especially in terms of what they want. And I feel like this conversation that's coming up, it's going to be based on what they want and it's gonna to have to do with, you know, closing out that, that chapter, that cycle. Um, all right, so let's see their energy coming up towards the feminine. Seven of Cups in reverse, the Nine of Pentacles in reverse, and the Ten of Wands in reverse. Um, actually also had the Two of Swords also in reverse, almost wanted to come out. <clears throat> so just keeping that. Mm. I feel like things are still a little like weird <clears throat> um, coming up with the masculine's energy towards their feminine. They are beginning to see things more clearly than they were before, but um, it's like still not knowing what to do, still not knowing how to go about this, definitely feeling an attachment here to their feminine, not being able to separate from you. Not that they're really trying to, but it's like somehow that is just being more, that energy is more present in them coming up, the fact that they just feel like they cannot be separated from you really wanting to release that burden again all right with the ten of wands being in reverse the burden of all the conf confusion the um illusions and you know maybe options even you know knowing that the feminine now has you know maybe opened him or herself up to other options just all of that um <clears throat> They're moving towards wanting to release that burden, but I feel like they're not really like changing much just yet in their energy towards you. So um, <laughs> I'm also getting, you know, that there's this like wishing that you are still single and available, um, but they're not sure if you are. And this is also creating like another burden on them. It's like there's one burden after the other and yeah. But, <clears throat> you know, it is what it is. Feminine is surrendering to whatever this is um, that's going on to the situation and doing what is best for his or herself. Um, yeah, I almost forgot about this two of swords in reverse yeah this is i mean this is just them wanting to do something about it wanting to come out of this two of swords that they are in currently just overall um but still not really you know doing much I, again this is just meant to be for a very short term okay so of course things can shift after that Okay, so let's get some final messages to close out this reading. So let's see. Final messages, please, for those of this resonated with. We have Thinker. Let's actually get one more. <clears throat> And regeneration. Okay, so yeah, there is a lot of thinking that is happening here concerning how things can be rebuilt. How can things be regenerated? How can everything just, you know, change so drastically? A lot of thinking. And so that's on the masculine side. And I'm getting that for the feminine side. You know, you're really just taking things at face value. And I feel like you're going through your own regeneration at this time personally for your own self, independently of your divine masculine. So yeah, that is it. I am going to leave it at that. I thank you all so, so much for watching and I will talk to you guys very soon, hopefully on Sunday. Much love, bye.